is uh, the improv show, uh, improv uh, comedy plays in uh, Ebro City. They were like around 15. That is Beck Correa, everybody. And Billy Milet. And um, tonight we're going to do a set called Tag, and all we need is a uh, suggestion for a location that can fit this area. Suggestion for a location that can fit this area. Schoolhouse. Schoolhouse? Schoolhouse. Okay. <laughs> this is ridiculous. ridiculous. How do they expect us to teach students at a schoolhouse this size? <laughs> I bet you it was some ridiculous government person I that, know. that did that. I barely fit like two, three kids in here. Oh, and we both have to teach together. I know. It's ridiculous. Math and language arts have nothing to do with each other. I know. They really don't. Yeah. You're doing two, two plus two, and then I'm saying subordinate clauses, and, and the kids are just like, oh, two plus subordinate clause. <laughs> this is your side of the board, and do not come over to my side. Whoa, whoa. You math people, you're all into fractions and dividing <laughs> things. <laughs> yeah, you literature people go on and on. Yeah, yeah. You say breath is a soul of wit, but then you go on for a novel <laughs> and novel. Whoa, whoa. Hey, two plus two is four. See, I can do your stuff too. Yeah. <laughs> to me or not to me, I can do your stuff too. To, uh, one half plus one half is one. It's unbelievable. You really look down on me, don't you? You're darn right, I do. Because kids actually like my stuff. <laughs> they read books. Do they come home and read their math books? <laughs> I have at least four nerds in my class who love me. I have seven. <laughs> One of them asked me out on a date. I denied him, of course, but just, just the fact that that's happening is interesting. Especially since we teach second grade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Mr. Jones, please, have a seat. Yeah. Uh, we're excited uh, about the possibility of you joining us here. Little small school of learning. Yep, yep. And uh, we've got quite a resume. I love here. the name, by the way. It's very, oh, thank you. very descriptive. Well, uh, I know uh, it's a very cute name, mm -hmm. but it actually is uh, a little small school of learning. And uh, mm -hmm. that's the biggest hurdle we have to reach when we've got qualified applicants like yourself is uh, the fact that it's a very small space. Right. <laughs> and uh, I realize your strength is language arts. Oh, yeah. English. Yep. Shakespeare, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, unfortunately, you'll have to share the office space uh, with a math magician. Uh, <sighs> the space is like this office, or? Uh, well, this this office is, is located off campus to facilitate you know, yeah. the funds transfers and whatnot. Right. Because it is a very very highly recommended private school. Am I bumping elbows or should I um, be over there? Or? You're going to be managing uh, a second grade class right. of three children. Three? three? <laughs> really? Yes. Uh, that actually doesn't sound too bad, actually. Three. <laughs> Less parents to complain to me. Well, these parents happen to be very, very wealthy. And they want to ensure that their children are getting the best in education. And that's why they come to us, because we simultaneously teach English and math. <laughs> Hello. Hello. My little Johnny yeah. is very bright. Yeah. He's a very special boy. I'm sure he is. And now as you're <laughs> his new Shakespearean teacher. Language arts, but that does cover part of my, yeah. I need to be sure that you're going to teach him uh -huh. the very, very best. Well, don't worry, I ain't not no good at no English. <laughs> no, it's a joke, it's a joke, man, it's a joke. <laughs> I'm sorry, in this part of the country, we do not joke that. Really? No. He said what? He said something like, they say, no, I, I can't even do it. Oh, dear <laughs> Lord. Little Johnny, we need to write to the principal. Right away? That's 
correct? We pay a lot of money to have that little boy in that class simultaneously taught. I'm not going to use poor English to my wife. He thought it was funny. Oh. Funny person teaching language arts. <laughs> Dickens. The Queen's English has been destroyed. Oh, don't even get me started on the Queen's English. know that we have benefited from being in this country to the extent in which we can place our eight-year-old child in a class of two other students learning English and math at the same time. We are very privileged. We are. And you shouldn't be as bothered by a man who makes wit. I wouldn't be if he made good wit. Mm, good point. Good wit is hard to find. It is. That's why I love you so much. Thank you, dear. <laughs> so, uh, you want me to teach your kid uh, language arts, huh? Yes, I want. Yeah. I want a. I want a private tutor. Private tutor. All right. Hey, you know what they say about tutors? They lose their heads more often than an angry mom. Oh. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I don't get the metaphor, but uh, I did ask for a funny teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess you'll do. Hey, hey, we've raining cats and dogs before. I stepped in a poodle. <laughs> a small dog reference. <laughs> yeah, they saw when you had one. Mm, that's <laughs> cool. like, Oh, yes. We, yeah. Mm, that was excellent. All right, so I can teach little Johnny all he needs to know about sporting clauses and Santa clauses. <laughs> in fact, you know what Santa calls his elves? Subordinate clauses. Yeah, I'll tie that together. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. They yeah. work under Santa. Yes. <laughs> the subordinates of him. Yes, yeah, yeah. So, so, and what we do is during the lectures, I'm going to sing the schoolhouse rock song. Mm. Conjunction, junction. That's your function. function. I enjoyed that as a child. Hi, I. So. I'm really nervous about you being my tutor because, you know, being a little boy and all, and you're, ah, you're you a new person. Me. No problem. Me. Now, let's check out this, okay. Now, why is six afraid of seven? What? Six what? is afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, hold on, let me repeat it. Yeah. Why is six afraid of seven? Yeah. seven, eight, nine. Yeah. That was math joke, by the way. I'm supposed to be teaching language arts. Don't tell your parents. Okay. First thing we're gonna learn. Hamlet. Oh, okay, good. Your parents told me you were advanced. It's I'm very great. advanced. You know, when I think of Hamlet, I think of a ham and cheese sandwich. Ham and cheese sandwich is the best kind of sandwich when you're eating Shakespeare. That was even so funny as your other jokes. <laughs> Listen, kid. I'm disappointed. I tune your kids for a reason. I don't... Jenkins, we've had some complaints. <laughs> Not as funny <laughs> as you used to be. Hey, hey, hey. Did you hear about that new restaurant on the moon? It's got great food but no atmosphere. It's <laughs> a good one. Yeah. That was in your training materials. Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah, you don't tell me the jokes that I wrote. That's okay. <laughs> But you love your jokes, though. I, I love it when you share them with the students. Yeah. I got a complaint last week about referencing Ham and Hamlet. Yeah. Because it's Ham and a lit. And you, you eat it. The, my major concern is that you told a math joke. Yeah. Well. You're not hired to do math jokes. I told that kid to do math jokes. Yeah. <laughs> we have a very stringent policy. Yeah. When we send you out to tutor. Yeah. We expect results. Oh, come on, Bob. Got you his mind working. You thinking about numbers, you're thinking about language arts. It's all the same thing. No, it's not. Language arts is language arts, and math is math. And unless. Please, stop beating me! I, I promise I won't tell anyone else! I won't tell anyone else! You better not! You better not! No! Or I'm gonna tell you the worst joke I ever about the entire night.
So you're in here, but yeah. telling bad jokes, telling kids not to yeah. tattle on you. <laughs> Let me hear a joke, funny man. Uh, why are you so awesome? <laughs> why? Cause you're you. <laughs> get over here. I'm, I'm, I'm close as I want to get to you right now, I think. Oh, you get real funny when you get close to me, don't yeah. you? No, I'm in here. You jaywalked? I hope. I've jaywalked plenty. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Across the road. Out even looking. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, hey, did you hear about that guy with dementia who was driving down the street and his wife called? His wife said, hey, be careful. There's someone driving the wrong side of the road. And he said, one, there's hundreds. <laughs> yeah, because he's the one driving the wrong way. Oh, I don't know, I get it. Yeah, he's the one. Yeah, yeah. And there's hundreds driving the right way, but he thinks they're all going the wrong way. I get it. Okay, just wanted to make, make sure, because... I know that joke. Okay, cool. Dementia's no joke. No, I didn't think it was. Oh, oh no. It's just... It's what, nervousness? Yeah. You don't tell jokes about dementia when you're nervous. You tell them when you're hateful. <laughs> No, well, I, I don't hate any of my jokes. They're all wonderful. I teach children. Uh, you are annoying me. Stop ringing the bells okay. now. Okay, I'm sorry. I just. All, all right. Yeah, you're in jail. Yeah, yeah, you're in jail. You do that. All right. Once you put a mirror out, they let you bring a harmonica in here with you. Well, then you bring the beer cup in. They're kind of loose here. All mirror. right. The rules are relaxed. Yeah. I'll give you that. But. Can I hear a song? No. Okay. All right. Okay. I want to hear one. Okay. <laughs> I want something more recent than Swanee River. <laughs> it's outlandish. <laughs> I can't place that one. Help me out. Give me a, give me, just give me a lyric. Part of, part of a lyric. I'm not crazy. I'm Patsy born Klein? This way. I was born this way? <laughs> oh, good God. Yeah. No good God. You get a lot of material from her. I don't, I don't give a damn. Yeah, okay. You will not play good God in this cell. Yeah, find something else other than p p poker face. I think that's not the same song. Now, I know, but I'm telling you to find something else. Okay, um. No, it's not the same song. Is that Daryl Hall and John Oates? I don't even know that song. Oh, of course. Huey Lewis's triumphant yeah. victory in 1985. Theme song of Back to the Future. I know that one. Okay. You played it so terribly, I could not even recognize it. How dare you to song that song? It was not recent, I understand. I don't give a damn. Okay. That song is timeless. I got it's it. about time travel. Well, 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 the song really is it. It's in the movie about time travel. It's about love that transcends time. Okay. You didn't read between the lines. Darling, darling, talk to me. Oh, it's, it's been hell in there. Love that transcends time. Tell me again about it. All right. <laughs> What? It's, Pick up the phone, darling, so I can hear you. I don't know why I'm not trying to talk through this damn phone. I was trying to talk through the plexiglass. My apologies. Okay, darling. God, what am I going to learn? It's only on the phone. Only on the phone. <laughs> What's the reason why you're in prison, darling? Phone, Please. Phone misuse. Like mail fraud, but... I know why fraud. I'm here. I thought I could rack those minutes up. <laughs> It weren't roll over. It's just like it wasn't any time, minutes. You always thought you'd get away with everything, all the jaywalking. It was just the starter. You liked it when I was exciting and didn't look both ways. Not for cops, not for street signals. We got hit that one time. It was the best day of my life. I know, you kept saying that. You were unconscious for three days. 
It was the best time of my life. It was the best time of my life. That's all you said, woman. Poor oh, little Sam is going to grow up and jaywalk like you if you don't straighten up. If that young man learns the lyrics to Power of Love by Huey Lewis and the news, they played with him on that. It wasn't his solo. It was very much the news. You remind me that every time. I know that because it's not referenced often. It's all Power of Love by Huey Lewis. What about those guys? What about the news? People forget about them, but I won't. No. I won't forget. I'm not. I'll never forget. Billy Joel may go between artists to play the drums, guitar, bass, whatnot. Huey Lewis, he's always got the news. And one day Sam will be able to hear you tell him that as you tuck him in. Um, okay, so let me understand this. You want to go into solitary confinement. I need to go into solitary confinement. Uh, this is, I've worked at this prison for 30 years. No one's ever asked, I actually don't want to. All right, first for everything. Yeah, I get that. Uh, is there a particular reason, or? I've written it down. You know the reason. Oh, you're with that Jenkins guy. Yeah. He's good. They got that harmonica. That's... That's something. You ever hear him play? Unfortunately. He does poker face. Perfect. Perfect tone. I threatened to beat him about the face had he right. played that. He would not. He knows not to do that. All right, cool. Well, what I can do for you, I can't believe it. You're going to have to do something at all. It's not right. I'm going to just put you there. I've got a boss. I would kill Jenkins if I do not go into solitary. Well, that would be a reason. You would like me to kill a man? I do say I'm in here for jaywalking. I didn't say that at all. I am not going to put a murder rap on this one. Uh, well, maybe you can make it like self-defense. Not, not if you were to do this. I'm not asking you to. Would he attack me with the harmonica or the cup you let him take in so he could clink it against the bars? Well, I mean... That is ridiculous. Music you don't like to hear is... You gave him a spoon. So, well, he likes to play spoons. He likes to dig out... The wall every night. He thinks he is in Shawshank Redemption. He knows we're on the third floor, right? He knows. He From knows. He knows it is a texture and substance that is not hurt by spoons. But he does it anyway. Fine. All right. Well, like I said, why are you giving him utensils to make him believe he is Andy Dufresne of Shawshank Redemption? I do not get that. Am I supposed to be red? Well. I don't know. You certainly don't sound like Morgan Freeman, that's for sure. Is that a slight on me? Uh, no, I just... just no, I mean, no, I... Morgan Freeman. No, no, yeah, right. Well, you're yeah. right on that one. And a dual Frank. Oh, now you sound that's like Morgan Freeman, Freeman, that's what he yeah, sounds like? Sort of, yeah, I think so. It's closer to your place. If I was trying to be Morgan Freeman. Dad! Dad, you killed a man! I know I you killed, killed a man. Pick up right? the phone, Dad! Uh, damn it, I can only hear. All right. Hear me now. I'm 30 years old, Dad. You're now 16. Your, your beard is so long and gray. I never got to know you. I'm sorry. I lost it one night. He kept, he kept referencing Shawshank. <laughs> and I, I killed him. You killed the man. And now I'm going to follow in your footsteps. I'm going to start jaywalking tomorrow. No. Jay Walker will only leave you in here, and if you have any recognition of movies that are well done, but overplayed, you will kill someone over it. I do, Dad. Who should I kill? I am telling you, do not watch movies, especially those on TBS. They are played relentlessly. I'm going to watch TBS movies. Why are you doing what I'm telling you not to do? <laughs> no. All right. In that case, watch foreign films. Watch foreign films, indie films. Like foreign ones? Whatever. I know that no people will reference them in jail cells. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm confused, and it's probably because I've never known you. All right. Well, had we had this conversation 25 years earlier, I would have said, avoid pop culture films. And jaywalking. Of course. They will lead to jaywalking. And stick to subtitles of foreign films. Go back, Life is Beautiful. It is a wonderful film about a Nazi horror. <laughs> um, so we're, I mean, here, here, 
you're a fun guy to be around, but this doesn't really sound, you, you just want to walk across the street and watch TBS on your cell phone. Yes. Yeah. This is the only way we would be able to see my dad. I'm like, in uh, the same cell with yeah. him. There was a movie about it. There, there was a movie about a guy who jaywalked to get to the same cells as dad? Well, they did something else. But jaywalking oh. is the best way for me to get into jail. Right. Oh, oh. So let's do I, it. I, you know, it's, it just seems like... Keep your you head know, down. Your dad, Keep your head okay. down. Oh. Uh, 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 all right. <laughs> that is our show, folks. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much. Uh, we're here almost every Thursday, uh, short of a couple big holidays coming up. But thank you very much. You can find us online at thethirdthought.com or friend us on Facebook, The Third Thought. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.